in Jerusalem until you receive the power from on high. Blessed be the name. Bwana wetu na Mungu wetu wa mbinguni usiku wa leo tumekuja mbele zako mara tena katika Jesus Kristo Nazareti. Neno lako lasema heli wanaoona kiu na jaa Bwana ya neno lako kwa sababu Bwana wewe utawashibisha. Tumekuja katika mlima huu Mungu na Bwana wetu wa mbinguni tukiomba Bwana unene nasi na Mungu wa mbinguni ukutane nasi kama vile Kristo Yesu anavyo ni vyema tunakuabudu tukupa sifa zote katika jina la Yesu Kristo tomba pia tunashukuru amen thank you let's appreciate our praise and worship team and we can have our seats in the presence of the lord thank you so much karibuni sana we love the lord so much amen ningependa kuleta neno la bwana usiku wa leo mara tena ikiwa ni continuation on the things to avoid in life things to avoid in life mambo yale unapaswa kuepukana nayo katika maisha mambo ambayo huwa inakuta kila mtu na last time tuka handle kiasi on the getting weary and i want to finish on the same Kasema getting weary is when you get tired you are bold Kasema kwamba when you get weary you can achilia mambo unaweza kukomiti suicide and therefore i want to continue on the same and our key chapter is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 25 and verses number 17 Deuteronomy 25 and verses number 17 The Bible says remember what the Amalekites did to you along the way when you came out of Egypt when you are weary and worn out they met you on your journey and cut off all who are lagging behind There are no fear of God when the Lord your God gives you rest from all the enemies around you in the land he is giving you to possess as an inheritance you shall blot out the memory of the Amalek from under heaven do not forget haya ni maneno yaliyo neno na mtumishi wa Mungu na Bwana akamnenea Musa na Musa anene wana wa Israeli akaambia wana wa Israeli wakumbuke vizuri walipokuwa wanatoka kule misili na wakiwa katika jiani walikutana na kundi ya wameleki and bible says ya kwamba wameleki Hawakuhurumia Waisraeli hata kidogo. Bible inasema kumbukeni watu wote waliokuwa wamechoka kati ya wana wa Israeli, those people who got tired. Bible inasema wali baki nyuma. They lagged behind. And the Bible says ya kwamba wameleki wakawapiga sana na pia wakawaua. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha namna gani? Ya kwamba watu hawa wa Israeli walipochoka. Ya kwamba wali lag behind. Mtu yoyote akichoka ikiwa alikuwa anatembea anaanza kukaa chini na kwa hivyo watu wengine wanaenenda mbele. Any time you get tired in life. Either ni katika familia, iwe ni katika mambo mengine yote kuna uwezekano you start lagging behind and bible inasema kwamba hawa wameleki the typology of the enemy ya kwamba waliwakamata waliwapiga sana na wakawaumiza penda kusema hivi mpendwa 
rafiki yangu wherever you are ya kwamba it is our high time ya kwamba usikubali kuchoka katika safari watu wote wanao choka katika safari kuna uwezekano wa baki nyuma watu wengine waenende mbele na kwa hivyo bwana akawaambia kwamba watu hawa waliwaua waisraeli waliokuwa wamechoka na waliosalia kule nyuma bible inasema hivi mungu anaambia musa ambia wana wa israeli hivi ya kwamba msiwabakishe wameleki and they were not to forget mambo hayo mungu aliyekuwa na nena kwao kupitia kwa musa Paenda kusema hivi kwa sababu maisha ambayo tunaishi siku hizi kuna sababu nyingi sana za watu kuchoka katika maisha unaweza choka katika biashara na unapochoka katika shughuli zozote zile inafika ya kwamba hata kuamka unaamka kama unajivuta ikiwa biashara yako ulikuwa ifungua mapema but because now you are tired of your business you don't have a morale ya kuamka mapema hauna morale ya kuendelea na kufanya ile kazi unayofanya wakristo wanaweza choka pengine mtu amekuwa kimuomba Mungu na kimwamini Mungu kwa sababu ya familia kwa sababu ya maisha yake pengine amekuwa ni mgonjwa kwa muda mrefu ameomba ametoa sacrifice amejipeana kwa Mungu wa mbinguni lakini anapotazama maisha yake jinsi inavyoendelea na ye anachoka anaanza kusema inaonekana Mungu hasikii maombi inaonekana Mungu ya kwamba ajibu maombi ya watu wake I want to encourage somebody today by the grace of God. Ya kwamba dada mpendwa, usichoke. The moment you get tired, you will lag behind. And the moment you become behind of others, the enemy will have an opportunity to attack you and kill you. But I pray, may the Lord renew your strength that you may be able to wake up and arise and you say, I will not get tired on upon the lord why for the bible says that those who wait upon the lord the lord will renew their strength those who wait upon god those who wait upon the lord so let me read a scripture in the book of second kings chapter number 13 second kings chapter number 13 there is a man here who got tired in whatever that he was told by a prophet second kings chapter number 13 and verse number 14 bible says now elisha was suffering from the illness from which he died joash king of israel went down to see him and wept over him my father my father he cried the chariots and the horsemen of israel elisha said get a bow and some arrows and he did so take the bow take the bow in your hands he said to the king of israel when he had taken it elisha put his hands on the king's hands open the east window He said and he opened it shoot Elisha said and he shot the Lord's arrow of victory the arrow of victory over Alam Elisha declared you will completely destroy the Alamians at the Afek then he said take the arrows and the king took them Elisha told him strike the cloud he strike it three times and stopped it the man of god was angry with him and said you should have struck the cloud five or six times then you would have defeated alam and completely destroyed it but now you defeated onre three times now the king Joash of Israel 
alichukua mfalme wakati wa nabii Elisha Bible inasema Elisha akawa mgonjwa na ule ugonjwa ndio uliokuwa wa kuua Elisha was die of that illness now lakini mfalme akapata habari ya kwamba mtumishi wa Bwana Elisha ni mgonjwa akaenda kumtembelea kumuona tu Biblia inasema kwamba Joshua alipoona Elisha Bible inasema mfalme akalia sema my father my father the chariot and the horsemen of Israel na kaanza kulia Bible inasema Elisha akamnenea na alipomnenea akamwambia chukua uta na mkuki rafikisha yeye akawekera mkono wake kwa mfalme akamwambia sasa you have to shoot kiwa amefungua dirisha ka shoot na Bible inasema Elisha akatangaza ya kwamba umepata ushindi finally akamwambia chukua uta ule na ushoot mara kadha ili ya kwamba ushinde walami bible says very interesting ya kwamba Josh akachukua mkuki na kashoot mara tatu finally Josh tumishiwa Mungu mfalme akachoka he got tired bible nasema na Elisha naye akakasirika akamwambia i wish hauge choka kwa mara ya pili na mara ya tatu ingawa ungeendelea ifike mara tano ifike mara sita ungepata ushindi kamili wewe kwa warami lakini sasa wazabu mesa choka you are tired either umechoka kwa mara ya tatu because of that utashinda mara tatu peke yake and the rest of the battles utakazopata na watu hawa they shall fight you or they will overcome you why kwa sababu umeshachoka Bwana Yesu atukuze sana kuna watu wanachoka wanapoombea familia zao kwa siku ya kwanza na mtu huyo amechoka either nafunga kwa siku moja ama kwa siku mbili ama kwa siku tatu na kisha anachoka ni kwamba ni kuambia mpendwa wapendwa katika jina la Bwana ya kwamba usichoke kwa mara ya kwanza usichoke kwa mara ya pili usichoke kwa ya tatu endelea Bwana ni mwaminifu kwa utukufu wa jina la Bwana may the lord give you the staying power that will keep you moving and going until you overcome your enemy in the name of the lord maisha yetu ya kiroho unakuta mtu ni mlegefu ni mlegefu hawezi kumgojea hawezi kumwamini bwana anachoka kama vile elisha alivyomwambia ufalme kwa sababu umechoka mara ya tatu peke yake utapata ushindi kwa kiwango kile si Mungu atuongeze atuongeze our staying power that we shall keep moving and moving to the glory and honor of our God Bwana Yesu tukuze sana dada usichoke usichoke huyu kama angelijua angefanya mara ya tano na mara ya sita lakini Jawashi yeye alitoka kwa sehemu ya ya pili Unajua wakati mwingine wa mara ya tatu unaona wakati mwingine mtu anezaomba mwaka moja kwa jambo umekuwa unaamini kwa sababu ya watoto wako unaamini Mungu kwa sababu ya taifa unamwamini Mungu kwa sababu ya maisha yako mwenyewe lakini unamgoja Mungu kwa mwaka mmoja hatimaye unachoka unasema na kutogaza na kuendelea sitamtumainia huyo Mungu wapendwa let me tell you today 
the bible inaongea vizuri ya kwamba tusije tukachoka kuchoka ni hatari kwa maisha nimesema mtu aliyechoka anaongea kama mtu aliyechoka mtu aliyechoka anaweza fanya jambo lolote kwa sababu amechoka and i want to speak to the church of jesus christ wapendwa mungu haja tuachilia tumemwamini mungu kwa sababu ya corona tumemwamini mungu kwa mambo mengine na ametutendea but i want to tell you today usikubali kuinamisha kichwa chako ya kwamba umechoka tuzidi kumwitia bwana yeye yeah, yeah, mwaminifu neno la bwana nasema vizuri in the book of matthew god is calling the way ali in the book of matthew 11:28 getting where are things to avoid in life matthew 11:28 matthew 11:28 god is calling the church God is calling an individual do not get weary Bible says come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest now the one who is calling is not a man he is God anasema John kwangu nyinyi nyote Mulie choka na mulie lemewa nami nitawapa pumziko now anasema leteni mizigo yenu leteni fedha zenu hiyo jambo imekuwa inakuchokesha jambo hilo limekuwa likikuvuja moyo Yesu anasema you come to me Lete msigo wako katika maombi. Bible haisemi Yakobo upatiliane mzigo wako. Mtu mwingine akupelekee. The Bible says come to me. Come to me. So in other words, is an individual in invitation. Is an individual. Ni wewe Yesu anasema, umekuwa na shida, umekuwa na matatizo na umechoka Yesu hajasema ya kwamba upelekee kwa pasta na pasta na yeye akupelekee kwa Mungu hapana ya neno la Bwana isemi ya kwamba inapatiana kwa intercessor na wao watareta mahitaji yenu kwangu mimi Mungu Bible inasema ni wewe peke yako ni individual that you come to Jesus why those are your burdens they are not my burdens Bwana Yesu tukuze sana Sijawaiona mtu aliyechoka na mzigo Alafu anaambia watu wengine Yakobo achukua mzigo huu munipelekee ikiwa mzigo ni wako ni wewe mwenyewe ujipelekee And I want to speak to this to the church of Jesus because most of the people hawataki kujipelekea wao wenyewe mzigo kwa Mungu Unakuta watu ni mzigo wa familia either unakuta ni mzee anangengana na mzigo wake anashikwa na depression either ni mama na yeye anangengana na mzigo wake anapatwa na depression na kile kingine but Jesus Christ is calling the church today he said could you come to me all you who are weary Bwana Yesu tukuze sana in the book of second first peter chapter 5 and verses number 7 Second Peter 5:7 Second Peter 5:7 very very important Come to me come to me Bible talks we cast our burdens our anxiety Bible inasema cast all anxiety on him because he care So the words of Jesus that you cast all your anxieties on him because he cares not only to, to care he is well able huyo mungu anaweza all your anxieties fedha zako 
mambo hayo inayofanya uchoke inayotaka ya kwamba ukate tamaa kwa maisha Bible inatuambia that we cast all our anxieties fedha ya zote mambo yote ambayo inatusumbua aidha kwa moyo aidha kwa familia aidha kwa kanisa aidha kwa taifa letu aidha kwa jambo lolote the bible says we cast blessed be the name of the lord and you know casting is not press it nachukua unarusha mzigo huo kwake yesu because he cares bwana yesu atukuze sana wangapi wanasema si tangengana tena na mizigo itakayonishosha kwa jina la bwana nitampatia huyo yesu because he cares it's not only to care he is well able kila that you cannot handle our master can handle it in the name of the lord in the book of jeremiah chapter number 31 and verse number 25 Jeremiah 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 that 125 Jeremiah Hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ We Bible inasema I will and satisfy the faint Those are the words of God Kupitia kwa nabii anasema I will refresh the weary Watu wale wanaopatiana fedha zao kwa Mungu Jeremiah na Mungu analela kinywa cha nabii that he will refresh the weary lakini ikiwa mtu hajachoka anasema niko na stamina ya kubeba shida zangu ya kubeba familia ya kubeba mambo mtu huyo he or she will not be refreshed But those they are weary those people they are worn out wamechoka katika safari wamechoka katika mambo yao bible inasema na ni mungu anasema i the lord i will refresh the weary bwana yesu tukuze sana unajua kuna watu wanaojifanya ya kwamba mimi ni shujaa mimi sita sema shida zangu sitapatia bwana fedha zangu nitangengana nazo utangengana nazo hautatoboa lakini jeremiah ananena the lord is saying to the church of jesus that he is going to refresh us why we are aware and we need the grace of god in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me show you some few things why we should not get weary. Let me show you some few things. Kwa nini hatupaswi kuchoka? Kwa nini hatupaswi kuchoka? Kitabu cha Wagalatia sita mstari wake wa tisa. In the book of Galatians chapter number 6 and verses number 9 and verse number 10. Galatians 6 very important. Why? You should never get weary. Bible inasema let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore as we have opportunity Let us do good to all people especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Now, the apostle Paul was talking to the church of Corinthians. Anawaambia, wapendwa tusikubali kuchoka. Tusikubali kuchoka. Tusikubali kuchoka. Verse 9 usikubali kuchoka kwa nini anene maneno haya kwa sababu kawaida ya mwanadamu huwa anachoka let us not become weary nimeshaona watu waliochoka wengine wali support mchungaji wali support kanisa 
lakini kwa mwenendo wa maisha they became weary so the bible says today ya kwamba let us not become weary kwa nini in doing good bible nasema for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up bwana yesu tukuze sana wapendwa tusiwa naambia kanisa la bwana na kanisa letu la njiro ya kwamba wapendwa tusije tukachoka kwa nini anasema at the proper time and the proper time is the time of god is the time of god bible nasema basi tutavuna ikiwa tu hatuja poteza matumaini yetu if we do not give up if we do not give up so in other words if you continue to serve the lord if you continue to be faithful in the house of god bible inasema ya kwamba mungu si mdhalimu god is not a mocker mungu si mdhalimu wapendwa tusije tukachoka kwa nini in due time there is a harvest there is a harvest bwana yesu atukuze sana sijui kama umeshaangalia mambo ya maisha ya mkulima mkulima anachukua mbegu aidha amepanda kilo ishirini na anasema nitavuna magunia kadhaa na you get my words amepanda aidha kilo ishirini na unasikia anaweza kusema mimi nitavuna magunia kwa nini anasema ya kwamba huyu mkulima if he does not give up yeye atavuna anakaa kwa muda vua inanyesha ile mti inatokea anairimia anaweka CN anaendelea kwa muda na unapo angalia huyu mkulima anasema ingawa nilipanda kilo ishirini nitavuna magunia kadhaa huyu mjamaa hachoki inafika wakati mwingine anapalilia mara ya pili ana top dress mara tena na anasema nitavuna magunia kadhaa if you do not give up my sister you will harvest you will harvest bwana yesu atukuze lakini mkulima yule yule ikiwa anaweza angalia aseme hapana nimechoka sitalimia sitapadilia finally at the end of the day hatapata mavuno in the book of hebrews chapter number 12 verse number 1 hebrews why should you not get weary hebrews 12 verse number 1 hebrews 12 verse number 1 very very powerful bible says Bible says therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us mark for us now there is a race it's not only a race bible nasema fixing our eyes on jesus so there is a race not only a race we are surrounded by a crowd of witnesses and this is the race anasema fixing our eyes on jesus the pioneer and the perfecter the author and the perfecter of our faith for the joy set before him he endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of god throne of god consider him consider him consider him who is this is jesus christ you consider him 
who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart yeah so there are things that can cause you to grow weary and you lose your heart there are people they are not seen kuna mashahidi ambao wanatusingira na pia there is a race as a pastor i have my race you have your race but the bible nasema we fix our eyes unto jesus yeah. why yeah, yeah there was a race that was ahead of him and the race of jesus was to deliver mankind bible nasema now we consider him because yeah, yeah hakuvunjika moyo hakupoteza matumaini anasema hata wewe na mimi let us fix our eyes unto him bwana yesu atukuze sana mother lord why because the moment you get weary unapoteza matumaini you lose your heart you lose the joy to continue in life bwana yesu atukuze sana bible inasema tuangalie huyo kristo aliye kristo muangalia yeye ya kwamba ingawa alikuwa ni mungu ingawa alikuwa na utukufu wote aliacha mambo haya yote lakini bwana anasema kwamba alijinyima anasema mambo mazuri ya kwamba we we put off the sins that israel entangles us so do you know kuna mambo huwa inatukwasa as we continue with life kuna mambo ambayo inayotukwasa inafanya ukwasike i know there are people also in church wanakwasika na tumambo and because of that wanaweza choka either ni mahubiri na hubiri wa kanisani mahubiri hasa ya utakatifu na nyakati zetu there is a lot of wickedness when a pastor preaches about holiness mtu anaweza kuasika na ukikuasika unaweza choka unachoka kwa ushirika unachoka kwa mambo si tarudi kwenda kanisa and because it you have been entangled you can easily become weary and lose kile ambacho kimewekwa mbele zako in the book of revelation chapter number 2 very important verse number 1 revelation 2 verse 1 revelation 2 verse 1 the bible says to the angel of the church in Ephesus right these are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven i know now verse two. now i know you are ditch you are hard work you are perseverance I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not and have found them false you have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary Bwana Yesu atukuzwe sana This is my prayer When God was writing to the church of Ephesus right kanisa hili limekuwa na hardship limekuwa na issues lakini ina, inaandikwa ya kwamba wameshafumilia na pia sio tu kufumilia pia wameshinda finally they have not grown weary Bwana Yesu atukuze sana You know those things that you persevere those things that you endure they can cause you to get weary unaweza choka mambo ambayo inakusumbua unangengana kuna mambo mengi lakini kanisa la waefeso andika kanisa hili 
watu hawa wamefumilia wameshinda lakini hawajachoka bwana yesu atukuza sana si bwana atupe neema siku moja iandikwe kwa maisha yetu kwa jina la bwana ya kwa badu huyu amefumilia kwa miaka dada huyu amefumilia kwa nyumba yake na finale kwa sababu hajachoka apokee thawabu ya kutokuchoka kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti in the book of in the book of Isaiah chapter number 40 and verses number 28 Isaiah 40 verses number 28 Kanisa la Efeso nimeandikia wapendwa ya kwamba watu hawa hawajachoka Isaya 40:28 Do you not know have you not heard the Lord is everlasting God the creator of, of ends of the earth he will not grow tired and weary and his understanding no one can perform those are the words of God no he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak now one of the characters of god one of the characteristics of god is not getting weary verse 28 hii ndio tabia ya mungu mmoja wapo yake ya kwamba mungu he does not grow weary he does not become tired Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. Ikiwa that is, a, that is a characteristic of God. Mungu anakufumilia. God anakufumilia. So let me finish this one by showing you some few benefits of not getting weary. Some benefits of not getting weary. Faida kadhaa ambazo unapata ikiwa wewe hautachoka. Ya kwanza ni faida ya kushiriki katika mti wa uzima. One of the benefits of not becoming weary is you have the right to eat from the tree the tree of life revelation 27 revelation 27 if you don't get weary if you don't get weary the tree to eat you have the right to eat on the tree of life revelation 27 revelation 27 bible says who whoever has ears let them hear what the spirit says to the churches to the one who is victorious i will give the right to eat from the tree of life which is in the paradise of god ai bwana yesu atukuze sana i desire this do you desire this that one day one day i will eat i will eat not in continental hotel no not in those big hotels that we know in the world no but in the paradise of god in the paradise of lakini it is only for those ya kwamba those who are victorious he they will have the right walioshinda waliosema i'm not ready to get tired i'm not ready to give up Bible inasema watakuwa na haki to eat in the paradise of God. Ah, Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. Do you know the tree of life? Mtu wa uzima, mtu wa uzima. You know that time there is no cancer, there is no covid-19 because it's the tree of of life. It's a tree of life. Do you know the life that you are living in this world is not a permanent life. Life We are only here for about 70 or 100 years so and after that each one of us is at appointment of death so one day you will die but the bible says if you are victorious you have not given up you are not tired you have a right to eat in the paradise of god hallelujah bwana yesu atukuze sana This is my greatest desire God one day I will eat. You know people wanapenda kukula sana. That one day I will eat in the paradise of God. Benefit number two is the crown of righteousness. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter number 4 verse number 8, 2 Timothy 4:8. The crown, taji, 
taji ya utakatifu if you don't get a query bible says now there is there is there there is in store there is in store so already it's there si kwamba inatengenezwa already is in the store is already in the in store for me the crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge will award to me on that day and not only to me but also to all who have longed for his appearing now paul alikuwa anasema kwamba nimepia na vita nimemaliza na naweza kusema now in store kwa sababu sijachoka in store kuna kitu nimewekewa anasema a clown of righteousness sio sio the clown ya bibi harusi no hapana but a clown of righteousness anasema nimewekewa na the righteous judge anasema that day he will reward me so there is a reward ikiwa tu wewe hautachoka bwana yesu atukuze sana you know what i'm saying this naona kuna watu ambao kwa jia moja ama ile ingine vijana wakawa kanisani lakini wakachoka kasema hapana hata nikate hii mkato nifanye harusi kwa jia zingine at the end of the day hatukuangi na harusi na hata kama itakuweko inakuwa ni harusi feki lakini kwa wale ambao wanaofumilia there is a clown of righteousness bwana yesu atukuze sana the clown of righteousness na hiyo nimewekewa na wewe pia umewekewa pamoja nami lakini jambo dilo hili ni kwamba usichoke number three is the crown of life taji ya usima james 1 verse number 12 the crown of life taji ya uzima taji ya uzima in the book of james 1 verse 12 the crown of life bible nasema blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test that person will receive the crown of life that the lord has promised to those who love him so there is a crown of righteousness and number two, there is a crown of life taji ya uzima wa milele Bwana Yesu tukuze sana. Lakini akina na fears. Na uwezi kusema umepasafia na kwamba wewe haujafumilia, haujafumilia lolote, haujafumilia mateso, haujafumiliwa mat- matusi, haujafumilia mambo mengine, hau unataka kujisema kwamba mimi sitafumilia kama watu wengine wanaofumilia. But those people who persevere, they have the crown of life. May the Lord give us grace to wait for this crown of life in Jesus name finally those people who get not get where they will be saved in the book of Matthew 24:13 Matthew 24:13 watu wale ambao wanafumilia baka mwisho hawatu ndio watakao okolewa those people who persevere now fumilia sitachoka hata dakika ya mwisho bible inasema but the one who stands firm to the end but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved in kumaanisha mtu anaye stand firm ni kusema if somebody is telling to stand firm ni kusema kuna mambo itakayokupiga either uchoke either ufanye kile kingine bakiri baba anasema those who stand firm to the end will be saved bwana yesu atukuze sana bwana yesu atukuzwe those who stand firm to the end ya kwamba watapokea taji hiyo kwa jina la Kristo Let me finish because I don't know to continue in the next time but on the, on the same but I want them to tell you the thing that will help you not to get weary mambo kadha ambayo itakusaidia usichoke jambo la kwanza linalo kusaidia usichoke ni maombi maombi prayers 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 they make you not to get weary in the book of Isaiah in the book of Psalm 63 verse number 1 
how you talk us about prayers so maombi when you pray inakusaidia usichoke when you pray you 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 unakana kama mtu aliye na engine engine yake the inner engine inakuwa propelled ya kwamba unaweza inuka kuendelea jambo la pili litakalo kusaidia ya kwamba usichoke is the word of god in the book of psalms 119 and verses number 28 so the word of god neno la mungu the word of god will refresh you the word of god will keep your engine going and going lakini ikiwa ikiwa hautakuwa na maombi hautakuwa neno la bwana then your soul will be come where baba nasema kwamba my soul is weary with sorrow strengthen me according to your word so the word of god neno la Mungu ndio linakuwa kama ni engine inayokusaidia usichoke the word of god inakuwa ni kama engine it helps you not to become weary ni jambo lingine linalokusaidia ya kwamba usichoke is trusting upon the lord bible inasema in the book of isaiah chapter number 40 and verse number 30 that those who trust upon the lord what wengi wanaweka matumaini yao kwa wanadamu and men sometimes wanaweza fanya wewe uchoke lakini bibi anasema kwamba those who wait upon the lord if you don't want to become weary in life then trust in the lord you can trust your husband but i can tell you your husband can make you fail anaweza fanya wewe ukose anaweza fanya wewe kupoteza matumaini but if you trust upon the lord the lord will strengthen you in jesus name god help us not to get weary in life in jesus name so let's stand on our feet in the name of the lord let's have a time i want you to pray for your heart mungu nisaidie nisichoke kuna mambo mengi na kama vile tumeambiwa kwa bwana na bwana kusema kwamba tumesungukwa na wingu kuna watu wanao tutazama kuna watu ambao wametusunguka katika ulimwengu huu katika ulimwengu wa rohoni wanasema ndugu dada usichoke kuna taji yako uliyowekewa there is a crown of life there is a crown of lusciousness si inue mikono yako mbele za bwana jioni ya leo mwambie bwana nipe neema bible says in the book of acts of the apostles ya kwaba mitume the apostle of jesus christ ya kwaba walifanya kazi na neema ya bwana iliongezeka every day in the name of the lord jesus christ dada umekuwa ukimwamini mungu sana kwa maisha yako mwambie bwana siku ya leo kusaidia kwa jina la Bwana. Sifungue kinywa chako, dugu unaweza choka, dada unaweza choka. Hata mchungaji anaweza choka na washirika. Situombe Mungu atupe neema kwa jina la Bwana. Situmeambiwa kwamba taji hiyo imewekewa tu. Walio watakatifu, walio watakatifu mbele za Bwana ndio tu waliowekewa taji hiyo. Kuna taji niliyowekewa. Neno la Bwana inasema ya kwamba the clown is in the store. In wekwa kwa sababu yako na kwa sababu yangu siombe moyo wako siku ya leo ya kwamba bwana nisaidie jehova nisaidie katika jina la bwana ya kwamba sitachoka katika jina la bwana nimetoka mbali kuchokea mahala hapa wakati tu nimebakia tu kidogo nipokee taji na uzima niliyowekewa na mungu niliyowekewa na jehova ninajiombea siku ya leo kwa jina la bwana ya kwamba wewe kristo yesu Unisaidia kwa jina la Bwana. Ninakuomba Bwana. Ni Yakobo ameniambia siku ya leo, Yakobo kuna taji yangu niliyowekewa. Nina haki ya kukula katika muti wa uzima. In the mighty name of the Lord. Ninachiombea neema siku ya leo, Yakobo wa baba wa mbinguni, kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Unisaidie Bwana, nisija nikagada tamaa. Yakobo Bwana kuna taji, kuna muti wa uzima. There is great things of God. Niliyowekewa kwa niliyowekewa sio mimi peke yangu lakini pamoja na wengine wote watakao shinda 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana tunajiombea kama kanisa lako usiku wa leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo yakawa Bwana utusaidie tusija tukachoka kuna sababu ya kuchoka kuna sababu nyingi lakini Bwana tunajiombea you help us our God utusaidie Bwana utusaidie Jehova ya kwamba Mungu wa mbinguni hatutachoka ninaombea familia hii ninaombea Bwana mtu huyu amekuamini kwa sababu ya watoto wake kwa sababu ya jamii yake Mungu wa mbinguni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo msaidie asije akachoka asi kate tamaa tumetuambia kuna mashahidi o oh, bwana walio tusunguka o oh, katika jina Kristo Nazareth tusaidie bwana kupiga meo yetu konde na tukugoje na tulitie jina lako katika jina la Yesu Kristo you are the one our god we are seba to refresh us oh god in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ haleluya shada baba bu sedebere baganda Mwenyezi Mungu na Bwana uliyetuokoa Tumekuja mbele zako usiku wa leo Kuna mambo mengi inezafanya watu wachoke na wakate, wakate tamaa katika maisha Lakini Yesu tunajiombea neema usiku wa leo Kama vile naona kwa nasema kwamba uliongeza neema kwa mitume siku baada ya nyingine Baba tunajiombea utupe neema ya kuendelea. Tusije tukachoka katika safari hii. Kubwana umetuambia tuna haki ya kukula katika mti wa uzima. Kuna taji ya watakatifu. Kuna taji ya uzima wa milele. Yesu tusaidie tusichoke. Ninaombea wapendo hawa wamekuwa kitumika kwa nyumba yako. Ninaomba kwa wale wamekuwa wakisapoti kazi yako Mungu na Bwana wetu wa mbinguni. Wasaidie wasije wakachoka. Neno lako lasema kwamba Mungu kuna taji uliyotuwekea katika store zetu na hiwezi kuibiwa na shaitani ikiwa Bwana hatutachoka taji hizo ni zetu. Tunajiombea neema ya ushindi. Tunajiombea mafuta ya kuendelea kukugojea katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti. Hata usiku wa leo Bwana na Mungu wetu wa mbinguni tunapotoa sadaka zetu mbele zako tunazibarikisha ewe Mungu na mokozi wetu Yesu watu wote wanaofanya kazi Bwana pasipo na kuchoka neno lako limetuambia wewe si mwanadamu wewe si mdaganyifu hauwezi kutunyaganya mali zetu lakini kila mkono unaotoa unabarikiwa kwa utukufu wa jina lako Mungu wetu na Bwana wetu tunabarikisha sadaka zetu yetu na neno lako bwana lipitie kwa malipiti mie kwa maisha yetu ya kwamba god you shall bless our hands in the name of jesus christ we thank you and we give you praise our father kwa jina la yesu kristo tomba pia tunashukuru amen